Brian Hicks, and Happy New Year to you. This is the uh, first vlog that I've had of 2022, and I realize it's been a while, and a lot has happened uh, since my last one. I think the last one was episode 7, this is now episode 8, and um, let's get into what's been going on. Um, when we last left off, I was it was in the fall in October, and I was starting to make plans, and starting to look at you know what 2022 might look like, and the plan for the uh, the album. And, uh, you know, truthfully at that point, uh, you know, things were in good shape. I had probably about six songs that were done and that I was feeling good about. But, you know, an album has 10, 11 songs. So I realized that I, uh, you know, had work to do. And um, for the last, oh man, I don't know, like six months probably, I've been applying for different grants through uh, Factor. These are all Canadian organizations, uh, by the way, and we are very lucky to be able to, to access these and have these, but it's not like someone hands you a bunch of money. You have to apply for it. And um, I've been applying for grants for years, and 99% of the time been unsuccessful. I did uh, get one through the Saskatchewan Arts Board uh, a few years back, so I'm grateful for that. And, um, you know, when I'm looking at the next couple of years with what I'm trying to do, it's ambitious, and, uh, you know, I, th I think it's a solid plan, but I just need some help with it. Um, it's, you know, that old expression, putting the cart in front of the horse, like you can have a great business plan. You can have great, you know, ways to market yourself. But at the end of the day, for me, it's all about the song. I realized that I needed more songs. And so in November, I took a uh, personal songwriting retreat to uh, historic Razor Ranch in, um, just on the, like the border of El in Saskatchewan and it was fantastic it was so beautiful it's as picturesque as you can uh, imagine um, you know like think cowboys and like literally there was like horses you know dozens of horses on the hill right by uh, where my cabin was and it was uh, beautiful and uh, it was also during like a full moon too so like the stars at night were like gorgeous and and it was incredible and what was really good about it is that there were no distractions um you know i was only there for a few days but i um uh, wanted to give myself some quiet time i just needed some place where i could go and focus on my art and focus on my music and uh it was great and um one of the days that i was there the morning was like really windy and uh stormy not like storms but just windy it was like you know, the little cabin was like about as wide as, as my, uh, as I could stretch my arms. And I felt like it was going to like lift off the ground. It was so windy. And so I thought, well, you know, I'm in here. Uh, let's work on some songs. So I set up very simply, just had my laptop and an interface and a couple microphones. And uh, I'll show you some of that right now. nice way to work what I wanted to do is focus on the song so instead of worrying about production or you know putting a bunch of things on just have simple piano or simple acoustic guitar and voice and use those as like the basis of what I could you know later build it was only there for a couple days but it really 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 um, you know was great and I wrote some new songs like um, I wrote the song called night and uh, it was cool because I had this idea for a riff, but I needed to develop it. And I very much wrote it kind of like in the moment uh, about the night, like the wind at your windows tries to break inside. It's a cold, dark night. You're trying to hide. Like, it's just like literally what, you know, my situation uh, was. So um, that was great. And so for me, that worked really well just to kind of like get away. And it wasn't far away, um, but it's just, you know, a good place to go for uh, no distractions and uh, I had a great time. What I later then did was I'm working with Jonathan Anderson who's out in Maple Ridge BC and I sent him um, what I did out in um, 
uh, Reason Ranch, just to kind of see where we go from there. And uh, he took those, and I said, you know, could you listen to him and maybe think about arrangements and structure, and you know, if we need to cut a verse or do this, like just tighten things up. And uh, he sent me back these sketches not long after that, did some pre-production. It was incredible, and I almost felt like the album was done. It wasn't done, but like uh, it told me like this is the right thing to do. These songs are great. What he's adding to them is fantastic and uh, was so nice. And, you know, looking back at my last albums, I'm really happy with them. But a lot of time I felt I kind of rushed things. I kind of, like, you know, was going into the studio before I really, like, finished the song. And um, so having this pre-production was really good. Uh, just kind of, you know, for the, the two of us kind of, you know, find where the song was and what it needed and what it didn't need. And uh, gives me really good direction. You know, going into 2022, uh, to the songwriting process, um, you know, making sure that the songs are great and, uh, you know, we've got some tight arrangements. And I'm so excited uh, to be working on these songs. I know what you've been 